Ray, in trying to look at the universe and discern what does it mean, we can do observational astronomy, remarkable stuff, and theoretical physics. How do you see it from a technology point of view? Well, I've, I've come to the question of what will happen to the universe, what is the destiny of the, of the universe in a different way. Generally, this is examined as if the universe were some simple machine, and when we understand the mechanics of that machine, the dark energy, the dark matter, and is it winding up or down, and is it going to get colder or hotter, it's going to condense again into another big bang or just expand and all the suns will burn out. As if this is all going to play out without any influence of intelligence. What's the role of intelligence? What's a little bit of froth that just sort of darts in and out of this, the stars, but does not play a role in the destiny of the universe? That's not my view. Uh, we can see already that certainly on a global scale on Earth, human intelligence has commanded reality. We don't just have rivers flowing where they want. We can divert them if we want. We can move mountains. We can really change natural processes through the force of our intelligence as manifested in technology, which is already on a pretty wide scale. And if you examine this exponentially, that scale is going to grow exponentially and will command the solar system and then the galaxy and ultimately the universe well before these you know, ultimate destiny questions come in, into fold. Well, when you're talking about a river changing the direction of a river, it seems like such a huge order of magnitude difference to talk about the destiny of the universe, which seems so incredibly far beyond anything that, that any sentient creature can do, much less us. It's hard to imagine a sentient creature jumping to the moon, and uh, it's hard to imagine a sentient creature doing all the things that we've already done. And that kind of scale is, is a result of, of the exponential progression of technology. I mean, right now we're doubling the power of information technology every year. That rate is itself accelerating. And intelligence is very powerful. It is the most powerful force that we are aware of. Intelligence can really overcome natural limits, not through any kind of magic, but just by figuring ways to manipulate forces at finer and finer scales to really ultimately supersede uh, what seem to be natural limits. And it won't take that long for us to do this at a solar system scale and then a galaxy-wide scale. So really turn the universe into a large mind that is tr trillions of trillions of times greater than all of human intelligence today. And your claim would be that that type of intelligence could actually begin manipulating the structure of the universe so that if the universe is expanding potentially and we don't want it to expand quite so fast we'll be able to change that. Yeah, I believe that these decisions as to what the destiny of the universe will be it will be this it will be an intelligent decision that we can make and whatever our priorities are we can engineer the cosmos into the form that meets our goals. Every cosmologist I talk to ends in fire and ice, and of course, well, ice figuratively, because it's just a complete dispersion, so you have one photon every trillion light years or something, complete dispersion, or a big crunch. Every one, without exception. And all these theories treat intelligence as irrelevant. Yes. and. Uh, they're ignoring the fact that intelligence is expanding exponentially.